Hello. Hello, teacher. Hi, how are you today, Sandra? Yeah, I'm very nice. Thank you. And you? I'm doing very well. Thank you for asking. Okay. What about the rest of you? About me, I couldn't be better. Thank you for asking me. Excellent. That's excellent, Neil. And the rest of you, how are you doing? Have you started practicing in the platform? Yes. How you for the exercises? Yes. Okay. Yes. I don't I can see this. Oh, where oh, is it? What's the matter? But this exercise, we cannot write on it. So I did it uh, apart, you know? Oh, you printed and then did it uh, manually? Yes, of course, I did it. And that one, is, is it part of the platform? But uh -huh. but in the platform, it, it, it was not possible to send it. Mm, you cannot okay. write down on. Uh, es que solamente es como, como, como un ejercicio para ver cómo está uno. Ah. No, ajá, no, no, no tiene puntajes ni nada, es solamente para ah. saber. Ah, pues no, ah, estoy, really. no estoy tan bien que sí. points. Is, uh, is it's a bad 10. point. 50 point. <laughs> 50 or is it 10 point? No, 50. All right, for that specific exercise. That's nice. Hmm. Okay. Well, remember <laughs> that the ones that are the <laughs> evaluator uh, are the ones that says no list check. Okay. Los que sí son evaluados son los que dicen no let's check. Ah. Eh, ajá, los demás sí son eh, ejercicios de, de práctica eh, adicionales, ¿verdad? Para ver cómo andamos. Eh, pero sí, hay, hay que ponerle siempre, siempre, siempre atención a los, a los no let's check y cualquier duda eh, escriban para, ¿verdad? Eh, algo otro compañero les puede apoyar con las respuestas o para guiarle, decirle eh, cómo se debe de hacer. And let's see, well, it is time to start. Uh, yesterday we were practicing the frequency adverbs and we were discussing that there are uh, some un undefinite frequency adverbs and definite frequency adverbs. And someone asked, uh, when do we use them? If I have to use one of them specifically to answer a question, but it will depend on you. Before we started the class, I sent an, uh, well, I sent sure. a picture of some sample questions. Yes. Uh, where I can find this exercise? Uh, the one that I sent. Yes. I sent it to the WhatsApp group before the class. Oh, okay. But mm -hmm. I don't receive this exercise. Are you in the WhatsApp group? Yes. All right, you should. Entonces me tiene bloqueada. <laughs> oh, no, no. Sí, lo, lo mandé al grupo de WhatsApp. Entonces ahí, ahí es una, una hojita con, y dice sample questions. Already. Okay. I had this sample questions, and those are some questions that you can use. Um, you have the, the first one How often do you brush your teeth? Okay. Um, I only receive a presentation that you use. Oh, really? Mm. It's I'll try to resend it and tell me if you receive it. Okay, this is for... Okay, 
I will send it again. That one. Did you receive it, Joaquin? Yes. Okay. That is uh, just some sample questions that we can practice. Okay. Uh, if I ask you the question, uh, I know that I may get different answers. Uh, how often do you brush your teeth, Joaquin? I don't know. Um, this moment I watch the, in, in my cell phone. Um, yeah. How often do you brush your teeth? How often do you, you ride a bike? Uh-huh. Yes, those are some sample questions. It will depend on each of you how to answer and try to use the adverbs that we studied yesterday. You can use either definite or indefinite frequency adverbs to answer those questions. Um, mm -hmm. If I ask you, Sandra, how often do you ride a bike? I, I never ride a bike, teacher, because I don't. I don't know how to do it. <laughs> okay. Yes. Uh, how often do you read a book? Um, every day I read a book every day, the Bible. All right, excellent. Uh, Jorge Alberto, how often do you get a haircut? Uh, every, no, twice a month. Twice a month. All oh, right. You get a haircut twice a month. Uh, Ramulo, do you have a question? Or you want to participate? Which would you say to me the exercise? Mm, didn't you receive it? No. All right. Uh, can somebody send it? Uh, Alguien no podría reenviar? Uh, okay, and uh, uh, let's see, uh, Ismael, how often do you drive a car? Are you there, Ismael? Some, sometimes. Okay. Okay, so you can say sometimes I drive a car or I sometimes drive a car. And well, so those are some sample questions that you can use. And we have another one. Adrian, how often do you call your friends? Um, twice a week. Twice a week? Twice a week. Okay, that sounds reasonable. <laughs> okay, so estas son preguntas que pueden utilizar como ejemplo y si se dieron cuenta diferentes respuestas algunos usando indefinite frequency adverbs such as sometimes um, eh, some others use definite frequency adverbs like twice a week um, twice a month etc you can add more questions right you can yes. add more uh, for example, I can ask one that is not in this list. Uh, Liliana Menendez, how often do you eat hamburgers? I um, eat hamburgers twice a week or okay. twice a month. Okay, very good. I eat hamburgers once a week or twice a month. Uh, Roberto, how often do you um, ride a bike? I ride a bike once a week. Twice a week. Nice. And I realize that I have two Roberts here. <laughs> tengo dos Robertos, Roberto Alonai and Roberto de Paul. Y tengo, creo que es el grupo de las tres Evelyn, ¿verdad? <laughs> okay. Um, so you can add more questions. Pueden agregar más preguntas, preguntas que no estén en esta lista. Eh, les voy a dar unos um, dos minutos para que escriban preguntas similares a las que les envié como ejemplo. Preguntas que ustedes le harían a sus compañeros. 
coach. Ya. Yeah. ¿Cómo se dice sala de belleza? Beauty salon. Beauty salon. Ok, thank you. Ok. Try to write at least three questions with how often. Okay. Ready. Excellent. How often do you go to the cinema, Sandra? Oh, ooh. <laughs> now, um, right now, well, in these days, we haven't gone to, to cinema. But some years ago, we usually went to cinema um, every, every week. Oh, excellent. I would like to go. I wanted to see Cruella. <laughs> yes. Are the rest of you like, Do you like Pacar, Sandra? Oh, I love them. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. Same here. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. I like it. Okay, are you ready, guys? Yes. Yes. Okay, so I'm going to create a group so you can practice speaking with your classmates. You're going to ask and answer the questions that you have, and also you can practice with the ones that I sent um, in the WhatsApp group. So I'm going to create a breakout room. Remember to click join or unirse. Okay, ready. Hello. Hi, sir. Hi, hola. Hi. How are you? How are you? Um, someone want to share the examples? Yes. Did you write in questions? Arely, what questions did you write? Me or Jessica? Ah, oh, Jessica, Arely. Oh. <laughs> you, Arely Guevara. Yes, please. Okay. Uh, questions. Um, yeah. How many should be? At least three. Three. Okay. Um, it's like a sentence, not a question, right? I don't remember. Um, remember so. You just say two, when do you? Then you add something else. For example, if I ask you, how often do you visit the doctor? Mm -hmm. so I have how to, often do you visit the doctor? Um, not, not often. <laughs> I not often very visit. often, or, or very, very often. often. <laughs> not mm, very not really often. often. Okay. <laughs> you should. Yeah, but <laughs> I cannot do it at this moment. All right. How often do you buy junk food? Mm. Like twice a week. Twice a week. That's very frequently. 
Okay, those are some questions that I may ask. What about your questions? Escribió sus preguntas. Sí, las hago entonces. Ajá, uh, pregúntele, okay. por ejemplo, usted puede decir Rómulo y ya le hace una de sus preguntas y Rómulo contesta, luego Rómulo le pregunta a Jessica, Jessica a Natalie okay. y así sucesivamente. Ok. Um, Jessica, how often do you go to the gym? I never go to the gym. I prefer uh, Jolene. You prefer sleeping or going to school? Sorry? I didn't hear very well. The answer? Yeah, the answer. Ah, okay. Oh, you can continue. No worry. Now you ask one of your questions. I want to the... Yes. Uh, okay. One of your questions. I will give you some questions to your compañeros. Mm, okay. Romulo, hello. Um, how often do you save money? Romulo, can you hear me? How often do you say your money? How often do you save money? Yes. Almost, I, I save money. Almost. 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 Once a month. Okay, you save money once a month. Very good. Continue, Ramon. Every morning. Okay, cool. Do it. How often do you check your WhatsApp? I check my WhatsApp every five minutes. Minutes. Uh -huh. Every <laughs> five minutes. <laughs> every five minutes. Okay. How often do you check your WhatsApp? And you want me? Yes. <laughs> okay. Uh, I check my WhatsApp every five minutes. <laughs> yeah. How often do you go to the park? How often do you brush your teeth? Brush my teeth? I brush my teeth three times a day. <laughs> okay. Cool. About me, I visit the park every morning. Yes, to be honest, I practice exercise every mon morning. Yes, my favorite sport is running. So um, I practice exercise every time and every morning, all the week. No, I real coach potato like yesterday. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> no, just kidding. <laughs> okay. And yeah. you, how often do you play soccer? And uh, I play uh -huh, soccer Jeff. never. I don't play soccer. <laughs> I don't can't play soccer. You can't play soccer. I can't play soccer. <laughs> so you never play soccer. Okay, okay. Mm. And you, Diego, how often do you play soccer? I practice soccer and 
to to three times in the in the month. Two times a month or twice a month. Coach, what is why why is in a blue moon? In a few moments. No. Why why is why in a few months? I was see. Why in a blue month? Mm. No sé, algo así escuché. <laughs> when or uh, no, no, tengo no. una canción. <laughs> una canción. Uh -huh. Once in a blue moon. Once, como una vez. Ajá. Uh -huh. A blue moon. A blue, como en azul. Ajá. Uh -huh. Month, como mes. Ajá. Uh -huh. Un mes azul. <laughs> M-O-M. Pero según yo era un, un, también una cosa de frecuencia. Mm -hmm. Once in a blue moon. Ah, forget it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, do you have more questions to ask your classmates? O ya se eh, terminaron las preguntas. No. How often do you think karaoke? Emily? Karaoke. Yeah. My goodness, I don't like karaoke. Okay, so you never sing in a karaoke. I never sing in a karaoke. Okay. Mm -hmm. Continue practicing. You have more questions? No. How, no. how often do you practice sex? No. How often do you have sex? <laughs> that almost everybody's back again. Let me check. Yes, I think that everybody's back again. I just have someone, creo que solo es una persona de este grupo que me dijo que no iba a poder estar el día de ahora. Eh, por cuestiones de salud. Eh, acuérdense que es importante y la asistencia es eh, parte de los requisitos que tienen. Yo sé que con las cuestiones de salud, eh, bueno, pero si es, tal vez sea una gripe, un dolor de cabeza, conéctense, aunque sea solo para escuchar, para que no les vaya a afectar al final del, del módulo. That's just a recommendation. And how was sick, You're sick. Uh, right. um, but, yeah. Ok, thank you for being here. <ríe> sí, gracias por conectarse. Traten siempre, sí, sí. Si de verdad se sienten muy mal como para tener la cámara encendida, al menos un ratito y después la pagan y se quedan escuchando para que no les vaya a afectar al final, ¿verdad? Pues sí, creo que este grupo. Y de ahí por lo demás los felicito porque pues están a tiempo, están en clases y, y esa es la idea, ¿verdad? Que no pierdan práctica. Eh, un día que usted se pierda, pierde de practicar, de aprender algo nuevo. Eh, so, uh, ok. Let's continue. Ok, so we will continue with yesterday's presentation. Can you see my screen? I, I can see you now. Uh, to continue with yesterday's presentation, we stop here, where it says, how often do you exercise? And this is basically vocabulary that you have 
and um, uh, to continue practicing with this topic, we're going to check it out. I'm going to try to make it bigger if I can. Yes. Uh, and this is vocabulary that you have in the material. And I would like to know if there is a new word here for you. We have basketball, volleyball, softball, football, soccer, weight training, treadmill, stretching, walking, and jogging. Yesterday, someone asked what was jogging. Do you remember what jogging means? Trotar. Trotar. Yes, trotar. Okay. I have a question. Yes. Hey, what is treadmill? This is la la. Uh, la banda sin fin, me dicen, o caminadora. Okay, thank you. Okay, any other questions? Uh, what stre stretching means? Stretching, uh, stretching es estiramiento. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Teacher, what is the meaning of weight training? Weight training es entrenamiento en levantamiento de pesas. Any other question? Stretching. 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 Okay. Like uh, this one is estiramiento. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we will okay. move May to I the picture? next. Yeah, yeah, a, a treadmill, mill, mm -hmm. treadmill. What is the meaning, please? Es la, es la banda sin fin o caminar. La máquina para caminar, la, la caminadora. Treadmill, uh -huh. okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. treadmill. Any other question? Okay, then we have an exercise on pronunciation. It's the one point six pronunciation uh, for the intonation with direct address. Did you check that in the platform? Yes, we got it. I have heard it at the platform. Mm -hmm. And what do you understand by that? Wow. Um, well, um, that in a phrase there is the intonation is not uh, flat. It, it has a uh, down and and let's see, up and down. I mean. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're going to watch the video about that, and then we're going to practice it. Uh, let me turn my. Uh, this is basically when uh, the intonation that you use with uh, direct address when you mention the person you are talking to. And let's see. I'm share my sound. Okay, let's watch. In this session, participants will listen to intonation with direct address. This helps sound natural when speaking. There is usually falling intonation and a pause before the name. You're really fit, Paul. She looks tired, James. I feel great, Dr. Lee. Remember to listen and practice as many times as needed. This is it. 
Did you get the idea of the set sentence? It's a little bit different, <laughs> the one that you gave us. And I believe that is better. Um, the one that I gave you uh, was this one. Anyway, let's see. In a yes, this is what we already uh, listen and check on the video. The pronunciation intonation with direct address. Okay. Page 38, exercise 5. Pronunciation. Intonation with direct address. Part A. Listen and practice. Notice these statements with direct address. There is usually falling intonation and a pause before the name. You're really fit, Paul. You look tired, Marie. I feel great, Dr. Lee. Ok, so, eh, la entonación tiende a, a, a decrecer un poco antes de mencionar el nombre de la persona con la que estamos hablando, si pudiera notar, ¿verdad? You yes. really feel Paul. Luego la normalizamos. You look tired, Mary. I feel great, Dr. Lee. Yes. So, va como decreciendo y luego cuando mencionamos el nombre de la persona con la que estamos hablando, ya se normaliza un poco. A eso se refiere este tema. Es just a, a pronunciation topic. And then, after that, we have a group activity. And it's this one. I don't know if I'm sharing the presentation. <laughs> Can you see my screen? Do you see the presentation? Mm. Not so, right now. Yes. No. Okay. I'll start again. Okay. Nice. Yeah. Okay. So um, this is a uh, um, take a poll in your group. One person takes notes and takes turns asking each person these questions. Let's practice pronunciation. Let's repeat. Do you have a regular fitness program? Do you, Do you have, have a regular, regular fitness you program? Have a regular fitness program? program? One more time. Do you have a regular fitness program? Do you have, Do a, you have a regular fitness program? program? Excellent. Cuando escuchen la grabación de este video, escuchen la primera vez que lo hicieron y luego la segunda, mejoran un montón a medida que practiquen y repiten. Yes. Um, how often do you exercise? How often do you exercise? exercise? One more time. Do you have a regular fitness program? Do you, do you have, have a regular, regular fitness, fitness program? program? program. Yeah. How often do you exercise? Do you how have a regular fitness program? Do you ever go to a gym? Do you ever go to a gym? How often do you go? How often do you go? How often do you go? do you do there? What do you do there? There. 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 What do you do there? What do you do there? Do you play any sport? Do you play any sport? Which one? Which, which one? Which one? Which one? Which one? Which one? Which one? Do you play them? How often do you play them? Do you, do you, play play them? Them? Do you ever take long walks? Do you, do you ever, ever take long walks? Long walks? Long walks? How, often? How often? How often? How often? How often? Where do you go? Where do you go? Where do you go? What else do you do to keep fit? What, what else, else do you do to keep fit? What else do you do to keep fit? What else do you do to keep fit? What else do you do to keep fit? 
what is what is what is what is what is what is what so you're going to practice this and depending on the answers of your classmates, you're going to continue. So, uh, for example, if I ask the number two, um, Stephanie Roxana, do you ever go to a gym? I never go to a gym. Okay, she never goes to a gym. Entonces ya no le sigo preguntando lo demás, ¿verdad? Voy con alguien más. Roberto de Paul, do you ever go to a gym? Yes, yes, I go to the gym. How often do you go? Mm, three, three times. What do you do there? Uh, how do you say page for us? Do you lift weight? Yes. Levanta pesas, lift weight, or you do some oh, cardio? Levanta pesas, ¿cómo se dice? Lift weight. Lift weight. Okay. Yes. So you lift weight. Okay, good. So. Así va a depender. Por ejemplo, Stephanie me dijo que no, entonces ya no le pregunté más, ¿verdad? She said she never goes to the gym, pero Roberto sí dice que va, entonces ya podemos seguir la conversación con las demás preguntas. Y así van a practicar esto en grupos. No sé si alguien tiene una pregunta. No questions? No questions. Ok, so I'm going to create the group. So, uh, in this way, we're going to practice. Teacher. Yes? I have a question. What does that mean? What else? What else? ¿Qué más? Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay, you're welcome. Okay, let's join the group. Hi, teacher. Hello. Uh, hello, teacher. Oh. <laughs> what are we going to do, teacher? Sorry? What are we going to do? Oh, you have to practice the questions or the, the, you remember the last slide that we saw before the group? La última presenta la, la última slide del PowerPoint. Teníamos cinco preguntas. ¿Se acuerdan? Le pregunté a Stephanie y le pregunté a Roberto de Paul. Esas preguntas son las que van a practicar ahorita. La tienen en la presentación. Y si no, no la sí, tienen. I am looking the presentation right now. Uh-huh. That I can find it. I have the presentation here. Yeah. All right, you can share you can share your screen if you want. you or if not I can do it please okay Stephanie uh, 
okay, I'm sharing. This is what you're going to practice. Uh, so, Roberto Adonai, do you have a regular fitness program? No, I don't have. Hmm. Si me están diciendo que no, solo para no participar, lo voy a poner a inventar. <laughs> But I trust in you. Le voy a creer, Roberto. Okay, continue with the second one. Pero no le pregunté a Roberto de Paul porque él ya contestó. Ask, ask me the sport, the sport. Okay, I'm going to ask you the number two. Uh, do you ever go to a gym? Uh, I hardly ever go to, the, to a gym. Uh, okay, ya me contestó la segunda. How often do you go? You say you hardly ever go to a gym. <laughs> What do you do there? In case that you go, <laughs> uh, I live waiting and the caminador has been olvidado. Treadmill. The treadmill. Para decir que también hace como como piernas. It train legs. Train legs. Train, leg. Uh -huh. Leg, like piano. Okay. Okay, so continue practicing Ask me and. Yes? Yeah? Ask me the number three. Uh, sorry? Ask, ask me the number three. Okay, do you play any sport? Yes, I play. Okay. Uh, how often do you play? Twice a week. Twice a week. ¿Cómo, cómo puedo decir todos los fines de semana? Every. Every weekend. Every, every weekend. Ah, uh, every weekend. Uh -huh. Nice. Okay, continue asking your classmates. Continuing. Okay. And Roberto de Paul, do you ever si take a... long walk? I'm sorry, no sé si le van a tomar un screen para salirme e ir a ver a otro grupo. Uh, okay. okay. Pueden tomar screen and then uno de ustedes puede compartir pantalla. Alguien que le tome ahí un screen y la comparte. Avisen para sonreír. <laughs> Vaya, whisky. <laughs> okay. I took the, the screenshot. Okay, so. Parece que no tiene alguien. Voy para allá. Okay, bye. 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 Cuando, ¿Cómo dijo que era banda sin fin? Este... Dreaming, ¿Cómo? like es dreaming, algo así. Yes, dreaming. 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 With fitness. Okay. Did you ever go to a gym? Uh, no, no. Huh? never go to the gym. <laughs> you know what? You can invent the answer. Okay. I was in a gym. Uh, okay, try to invent the answer. I was in a gym. Okay. Uh, do you open a white dish? Yes, every day. I wash the, the dish uh, three times uh, every day. Three times a day. Uh, yes. Okay, you wash the dishes three times a day. Teacher, I had wash a dish, I never wash 
You never wash the dishes. Yes. Okay. <laughs> I, I hate I hate I hate it. You hate it. Yes. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Is my cooking, yes. If you cook, you wash. If not, you don't wash the dishes. Yes. <laughs> okay. That's the most fair. Okay, did you practice all the questions? More silence. <laughs> If everybody's okay, I think that everybody's here again. So we are missing still a listening exercise. Uh, but before the listening exercise, I'm going to check attendance. Okay, so let me get the, the file. All right, say present whenever you hear your name. Yes, let me. Adriana Ernesto. Present teacher. Ana Yancy Orellana. I'm here, teacher. Candida Yanet. Present teacher. Cecilia Elizabeth. I'm here. Claudia Patricia. Diego Arturo. Present teacher. Evelyn Elizabeth. Present teacher. Evelyn Liliana. Present. Evelyn Mariana. Present. Ismael Eliseo. Hello, Present teacher. teacher. Jerry Alejandro. No se logra conectar. No. Present Hi, teacher. Hi, Ana teacher. Selena. Oh, hi. Joaquín Ruperto. Hi, teacher, soy Claudia. Okay, Claudia. Tenemos presencia. No sé si puso asistencia. Sí, Claudia, ahorita. No, no. Ya les. Ya, yeah. listo. No, Gracias. No, no, no. <ríe> eh, Joana Celina. Pero. No escuché a Joana. Okay, uh, Joaquín. ¿Me escuchan, Joaquín? Joaquín. ¿Me Present teacher. Jorge Alberto. Evening, present. José Manuel. Present teacher. Judith del Carmen. Present. Liliana Margarita. Present teacher. María Susana. Marjorie Vanessa. Present. 
Okay. Me había ido. <risa> yeah, okay. uh, Nelly, la Rebeca. Present. Okay. Uh, Natalia Imperatriz. Present. Oscar René. Oscar René. Not here. Daniel Arely. I'm here. Roberto Adonai. Present. Roberto Carlos. Here, teacher. Romulo Edgardo. I'm here. Sandra Araceli. Present, teacher. Stephanie Roxana. Present. And Jessica Areli. Present. Okay, thank you so much. And just uh, yes, everything. Okay. Uh, all right. So the last exercise for tonight is the listening exercise. Uh, just as a quick reminder. Uh, for the new people, remember that um, we have the material in the platform, but we don't have the listening. Uh, so I include the listening exercise in the PowerPoint presentation. I'm going to play the listening, and those exercises are similar to the ones that you have in the material that you download from the platform but they are not the same. Why? Because I don't have access to the listening in the platform. That's why I include a different exercise. It's basically the same, but it's, um, es una versión más adelantada. Por eso van a ver que no se parecen mucho. Pero por eso se los pongo en la presentación del PowerPoint. Uh, so, because it is important for you to practice listening as well, I wouldn't like you to lose that practice. Uh, so I'm going to share my screen and I know that many of you can print the material, but some others cannot. Let's see. This is what you have in the PowerPoint presentation, this listening exercise. So it's similar to the one that you have in the material that you download from the platform. If you didn't have the chance to print it, you can do the exercise in your notebook. You can um, maybe draw the chart just uh, like this, activity, and then the three names, Justin, Carrie, Marcus, and how often. Solamente van a escribir estas tres cosas en su cuaderno. El nombre, la actividad y how often. Y luego van a completar el listening. Este es un ejercicio, es un ejercicio extra, no es evaluado. So don't worry. Tampoco está en la plataforma. <laughs> mm -hmm. It is just for you to practice. Es para que practiquen siempre listening y no pierdan la oportunidad. Uh, ready? Yes, we are. Okay, yes. So I'm going ready. to play the listening. Voy a poner el listening y ustedes van a ir escribiendo la información about those three people. Justin, Carrie, and Marcos. You're going to listen to three people discussing what they like to do in the evening. And I think I have to share my sound in this thing. My one second. I can Hi, let me know if you can listen. 
Es si paso lista que me sacó mi PC que se me reinició. Y... Sí. Ok. Eh, ya la voy a anotar, Joana. Sí, ok. Porque... Thank you. Mm -hmm. okay. Gracias por avisar, Joana. Ya la anoto. Ok. So, um, voy a hacer el listening. Page 38. Yes. Exercise. Escuchan la grabación. 7. Yes. Listening. In the evening. Okay. So I'm going to play it twice. Lo voy a poner dos veces para que complete la información y luego revisamos. Evening. Part A. Listen to three people discuss what they like to do in the evening. Complete the chart. So what do you usually do in the evening, Justin? I exercise a lot. I like to go swimming after work. Yeah? How often do you go swimming? Twice a week, on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Well, you are in great shape. Thanks. You're in great shape too, Carrie. Oh, thanks, Marcos. I usually go to the gym and do yoga in the evenings. I love it. My friends and I take a yoga class there. How often do you go? Three times a week. And what about you, Marcos? Do you ever go to the gym in the evenings? Actually, I don't exercise very much. But I go bowling about twice a month. But I'm not very good. Okay, I'll play it again. Page 38, exercise 7, listening, in the evening. Part A. Listen to three people discuss what they like to do in the evening. Complete the chart. So what do you usually do in the evening, Justin? I exercise a lot. I like to go swimming after work. Yeah? How often do you go swimming? Twice a week, on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Well, you are in great shape. Thanks. You're in great shape too, Carrie. Oh, thanks, Marcos. I usually go to the gym and do yoga in the evenings. I love it. My friends and I take a yoga class there. How often do you go? Three times a week. And what about you, Marcos? Do you ever go to the gym in the evenings? Actually, I don't exercise very much. But I go bowling about twice a month. But I'm not very good. Okay, did you complete all the information or you would like to listen again? No. The last Marcos, I don't hear how often. Okay, so I'm going to play it one more time. Okay. Okay, I'm going to play it one more time. Page 38, exercise seven, listening, in the evening, part A. Listen to three people discuss what they like to do in the evening. Complete the chart. So what do you usually do in the evening, Justin? I exercise a lot. I like to go swimming after work. Yeah? How often do you go swimming? Twice a week, on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Well, you are in great shape. Thanks. You're in great shape too, Carrie. Oh, thanks, Marcos. I usually go to the gym and do yoga in the evenings. I love it. My friends and I take a yoga class there. How often do you go? Three times a week. And what about you, Marcos? Do you ever go to the gym in the evenings? Actually, I don't exercise very much. But I go bowling about twice a month. But I'm not very good. Okay. Let's just be honest. Right. So we're going to check your answers. Okay. So what is the activity that Justin developed? Page 38. Did you write swimming? That was the answer. How often? Twice a week. Twice a week. Carrie, yoga. 
three times, three times, a, times week. a week. Marcus, bowling, mm -hmm. twice a month. Twice a month. Twice a month. Hey, uh, you get up. Come on, let's find out the head Good. 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 Did you good. get the good. Good. good? Really good. Nice. Excellent. So uh, we're going to stop here. And uh, remember, acuérdense de ir haciendo los ejercicios de la plataforma, pedir ayuda si necesitan eh, con algún ejercicio. Por ahí están los compañeros pendientes de ayudar. Y pues, eh, eh, Roberto, ¿tiene una pregunta? Yes, I have a question, teacher. Uh -huh. uh, give me, uh, tell me the pronunciation mess. Pronunciation for? Eh, eh, ¿Cómo se dice? Mes. Month. Month. Mes. Month. Month. Como con Month. Ajá. Month. 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 Porque okay. se pronuncia casi igual como labio, boca. Mouth. Mouth. Okay. Mouth. Ay, mouth. Mouth. Yes. Mouth. It's quite mouth. different. Yeah. Mouth. Okay. Mouth. Mouth. And mess is month. Right? Okay. So thank you for joining. Congratulations. And I hope you, you continue doing that way. You're doing great. And remember, do not miss classes. So see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.